Hello, this is MEI Further Maths Core Pure. We're in the first matrices section and on the fourth and final video on using zero and identity matrices. Pause the video for a moment while you work out these two multiplications. OK. First row times first column. 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. First row second column. 0 plus 4 plus 0 is 4. Third column. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Second row first column. Minus 1 plus 0 plus 0 is minus 1. Second row second column. 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1. Second row third column. 0 plus 0 plus 3 is 3. Final row first column. 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. Third row second column. 0 plus minus 2 plus 7 is minus 2. And third row third column. 0 plus 0 plus 7 is 7. What do you notice? We've got the same matrix as we had before we did the multiplication. So multiplying by this matrix makes no difference at all. Let's look at the second one. For this one, every entry comes out to be 0. The first matrix we looked at was an identity matrix. It has 1s in the leading diagonal and zeros everywhere else. When you multiply by an identity matrix, the matrix is unchanged. It doesn't matter which way round you do the multiplication. Matrix times identity or identity times matrix, you get the same answer. So identity matrices need to be square so that they work both ways round. The second matrix was a zero matrix, also called a null matrix. And again, these can happen in different sizes, but they don't need to be square. Any matrix multiplied by a zero matrix gives another zero matrix, although it may not be the same shape and size. There are more notes on integral on using zero and identity matrices. That's the end of this short video and the end of this series.